We're back again, folks. We are back. This time, we're going to be working with my girl, Annie. Annie's a 10-month-old lab, and um, she's been here for six days. She's here for the five-week obedience course. Um, some of the issues we've been having with Annie, more than anything else with her, is separation anxiety. And separate, separation anxiety causes other problems with training. For example, the stay command. Getting her to sit into a stay command and leaving the room has been really tough the last six days. Um, also with separation anxiety, um, you'll find that you'll have problems with confidence levels of dogs. They're, they're not as confident. Um, for example, um, the first few days of, um, the first few days she, uh, of her being here, I would give her the command to eat and I'd have to stand right by her or she would leave. She would leave if I walked away or if the other dogs were barking. So her attention span, stay command, all of these things to stem from separation anxiety. She can't concentrate because she's worried about what's going to happen if I leave. All right. So those are the things we've been working on, building her confidence. Get, uh, getting her in a state command and leaving the room without her being worried or nervous about me leaving. So we're going to go ahead and get started on just some of the basic obedience commands. Um, we're going to do some verbal. I'm going to try some hand commands, all right? We're not going to expect a whole lot out of her, but we'll see what we can get. All right, let's get started. Um, as you can see, I have her classmates here for distraction. That's why they're in the crate. While we're doing these exercises, we want to be able to work the dogs with distraction, all right? With other dogs around, because in the real world, out in the public, there's going to be other dogs and one are focusing on me, all right? Annie, stay. 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 So we like to open up the crate door, stay. Because this crate door in her mind, this door and this door is the same, all right? So if I can get her, no, that dog, no, sit, stay. If I can get her to stay with this door is open, then she knows not to run out of any open door. So let's see if we can get her, stay. The stay command is quite difficult with her, but she's come a long way. Nonverbal command, I gave her to come and to stop. This is stop. Stop or stay. Good girl, Annie. Good girl, Mama. We've been working, sit. We've been working on the down command. Good girl, Annie. Coming around, she's having problems with that, but we're working on that as well. Come on, all right. Come on, see she don't want to come around. Come on, Annie, nope, nope. Come on, good girl, mama. Annie, sit. Good girl. Down. Up. Good girl, Annie. Good girl. Hi. Hi. Hi, sweetie. So, no, sit, stay. She's quite fond of the videographer, person that's doing the videos. So, she would much rather be with the person doing the video than me right now. Stay. I'm going to try her concentration and the stay command. Stop. Come here. No, come here. Come here. No, Annie. Come here. And no, bad dog. Come. No, 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 bad dog. Come, Annie. Bad, come. Sit. Stay. Sit. Stay. 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 <laughs> Stay. Come on, man. Sit. Stay. She shouldn't be moving right now. 
her confidence level. Sit. And this is all from separation anxiety, right? So we're building her confidence. All right. Come on. Well, sit. Good girl. Good girl, Annie. Good girl. All right, stay. Now, the first few days when she was here, and she still does this, if these dogs, they start barking, she'll get up and take off, all right? She's so used to being around someone all the time for that nurturing that when you leave, she's like, bam, I gotta find you, all right? We want her confident enough to put her in a sit and stay and leave the room or go down another aisle in the store and come back and she's still sitting there. I don't want her coming to look for me. I want her staying there with confidence, knowing I'm gonna come back. Also folks, with separation anxiety, you'll notice, now I haven't seen this in her yet, <clears throat> her yet, but you'll see dogs that have problems with separation anxiety, confidence level, their confidence levels are low. When you leave the house, they'll start to tear things up because of their anxiousness. They're very anxious and they're worried. And oftentimes they will tear up the things of the person that they're closest to. Shoes, okay, socks, bedding, things of that nature. I had a dog completely destroy a futon because his confidence level was so low and he was, he had such anxiety he didn't know what to do. He just started tearing. He, he destroyed a full time. All right. Stay. So we're going to work on her confidence level. And I'm going to leave the room and prep her food. Hopefully she'll stay there. Stay. Okay, I'm back. focusing in on me. I'm going to leave the room again now to go get her water. Just a, no, stay. Just a couple days ago, there's no way she would have stayed there. She would have followed me. All right. So we are building her confidence level up, slowly but surely. Now I'm gonna try and draw her off of this position, her stay position. By the way, I pour this water. Sit. The other dogs are anxious too. 
Eight. Okay, folks, that is Tim Marco Annie, the sweet little Annie. She's here for the five week obedience course. We are working on her verbal and hand commands. She's been here six days. She's actually doing pretty good for the time that she's been here. Although we have a long way to go, she seems to be on schedule and what I'm expecting for her to learn. Stay tuned for more videos with myself and Annie and also with her classmates. Thanks for watching. Over and out.